Uh, all right. Uh, welcome back. Uh, um, in previous class, we discussed specific exergy and we derive the equation for the exergy of a closed system, and then we figure out how can we calculate the change in exergy of a closed system. Now let's try to apply these fundamental equation of the exergy on various numericals and uh, engineering problems. Let's see. This is the first very simple example. Okay. So if you read the statement, uh, what is the exergy of 2.5 kg of steam at 500 degree C, 1 megapascal, at a height of 1.4 meter above the ground level? Assume the environment condition to be 25 degree C and 1 atmospheric pressure. Now, this is very simple example, like you have to calculate what is the work potential of this steam, right? And if these uh, conditions are given and that is also considering the potential energy because 1.5 meter above the ground level so in that basic equations now you have to include uh, a potential energy but since there is no information about the sigma so you have to ignore sigma there is no information about the velocity so you have to ignore the velocity term as well so if you if you recall that that fundamental equation phi is equal to u minus u naught plus p naught v minus v naught minus t naught s minus s naught so we have to ignore the kinetic energy as well as sigma t naught now what else is remaining the change in uh, internal energy this term and then uh, the change in entropy with, re with reference to the environment and the potential energy now we have two states now one is the state of the um, working fluid which is a steam and you are mentioned in that problem that what is the state of the steam another uh, okay, condition is for the environment so the working fluid uh, how can it get maximum possible work it can get maximum possible work from its own state to the environment state so you have to figure out the properties of the steam first of all state 1 at 500 degree c and 1 mega pascal pressure right so if you read from the steam table you can uh, i mean get the value for the specific volume internal energy enthalpy and entropy but for this problem what we just need is we just need the specific volume internal energy and entropy uh, we don't need enthalpy but you can read other properties as well similarly at state 2 which is the environment state we also call that the dead state we are given the environment condition to be 25 degree c and one atmospheric pressure so uh, at that state uh, i mean the working fluid is in water state so from the um, from the properties uh, from the same pressure from same uh, saturation properties of the water you can read out specific volume internal energy enthalpy and entropy now once you have once you got all these properties you can just put in that equation so you will get the potential of that steam is 2129 kilojoule so this is how the i mean i mean that steam can maximum give you this much work output now let's see another example okay now our working fluid is ice now this is very interesting that what is the specific exergy of an ice cube at zero degree c and the environment condition to be 25 degree c and one atmospheric pressure so now the question comes i mean the ice is at zero degree c does it have any work potential yes because there is a temperature gradient between zero degree c and the environment 25 degree C right so again the working fluid is the water water has three states one ice liquid vapor so here the relationship is between the solid state of the water and 25 at 25 degree C water is in liquid state so if we again read out the property at a zero degree C now the at the uh, property table the properties of the ice are given so you have to use those properties where you can get specific volume internal energy entropy since there is no information about the velocity no information about the height no information about the sigma so we'll assume these terms to be zero now if you put these values in that equation you can get the exergy of the ice to be 30.88 kilojoule per kg now 
now in the third example our working fluid is concrete now consider a system consists of 3 kg of concrete at 80 degree c and 4 bar the system is at rest and zero elevation that means no kinetic energy no potential energy in a reference environment for which t naught is 20 degree c and p naught is 1 bar now you you are given the reference state and for concrete you are given c to be 0 0.88 kilojoule per kg per kelvin now you know concrete is, is is like a solid material so does it have an energy or the work potential with reference to the environment yes it does have like if you recall the same fundamental equation right since the mass is given uh, so th th this term is basically the uh, specific exergy so if you multiply with the mass so the unit will be kilojoule now right if the mass is not multiplied it, the units will be kilojoule per kg now since the mass is given 3 kg so that's why we have to consider the mass as well so no kinetic energy no potential energy and uh, th there is no change in volume of the solid since the concrete uh, th there is no change in the specific volume of the concrete even we can ignore this term as well so what is remaining now the remaining is uh, I mean even we can since the C value is given we can convert that internal energy into C delta T so C T minus T naught right and then uh, minus so uh, please this is a minus sign right minus t naught s minus s naught and then if you put all the properties right and you simplify you can get the uh, exergy or the work potential of the concrete